So Georgia Jim sent me this Vorgvechta Gamma 700 like a very long time ago and I was digging around and pulled it out and I was like, oh, I've held on to this way longer than it is to be polite. So I need to pick this and this thing is got some warding in here that is quite effective. Uh, when you go to lift different pins, it mutes the feedback because you're even with this really thin pick, you're rubbing against warding on left and right on the pick. So it, it's pretty effective. And if we look at this key here, we can see it has this high lift on pin two, and that's gonna be a real pain uh, to pick. Not so much because it's behind this, not even really a low lift, but that doesn't pose an issue. It's just the sheer height of, of, the, of the pin um, that causes issues. So let's go ahead and pick this here. We'll go ahead and cut this Lawlocks tool tensioner and a Sparrow's SS Dev deep hook um, in a thinner form. I don't know what the two thicknesses are, but this is the thinner of the two. I put some Plasti Dip to make a handle because um, these are very thin. So we'll go ahead and uh, go back. I think this lock has, let me think, like five pins or something like that. So let's look one, two, three, four, five, six, six pins. Um, and what I'm gonna do is this pick can't get under all the all the pins at rest. So if there were any no lifts, I'd have to go with a different pick. Uh, but from having picked this before, I, I know that there aren't. So I'm trying to get under the very last pin, and I kind of have to like scoop up on it, let off on tension to get under that last pin. And once I do, I feel counter rotation already. So this thing starts kind of in a false set when you put tension, and now. I'm under the back one. So I think I've set the last pin and as I pull the lock back out, I encounter another one that's giving me counter rotation. So I'm gonna wiggle under it. I think this is pin five. I, I don't really know which pin. I just feel for the ones that are um, giving me counter rotation and then I go to set them. Uh, and this is a really weird angle to pick, but we'll see if we can make it happen. All right, so. In six, there we go, drop back into the, uh, the false set. And you can see there's markings on here that Jim put on there that um, show you if you're in a false set or not. Come back, I think this is pin four, counter rotation, and set. Then it looks like pin six dropped again. And I get this a lot, I don't, I don't know what the binding order is, so I just keep going back and forth and um, dropping pins as I set other ones. If you, if you memorize binding order, maybe you could avoid some of these drops, but I just had to reset pin six again. So I'm coming back forward, and I notice that when I touch pin two, it drops into even deeper false set. And pin two is so high up, I can't actually feel it anymore with this pick. Um, so I could go in, but as I come back, I see pin one is giving me counter rotation. So let's go ahead and try to set that while we're here. There we go. So pin one, and again, when I touch pin two, it goes into deeper um, false set. So I, I think I'm in a, like a long spool on pin two, and I've pushed up the driver. It feels like pin three is now giving me counter rotation. So let's go ahead and try to set that guy. I can't find him. So one thing I note is like, I lose track of the pin because um, it's high up there. So I can come back and push on pin two and drop it back into that false set. So what happens is as I push pin three, uh, I'm getting counter rotation. Pin two is sliding down the spool and holding the position. Um, so if I come back and push up pin two, I drop back into the deep false set. And now I can go back to pin three, find it again, and get my counter rotation. Now I'm gonna try to stay on pin three, but I don't think I can. All right, lost it again. So back to two to get into my deeper false set. And that allows me to feel the bottom of pin three, getting that counter rotation. And then it gets to the point where I just can't push it anymore. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to this kind of shallow hook from Lawlock Tools. And I'm gonna go and find that pin three right there and try to do it with this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up on this next ledge here, this top ledge, and see if I can set it from here. Kind of pulling it forward to get under that pin three because it's too tall. 
Um, the pick is a little too tall to get under it. But once I get under there, I might have dropped something there. There we go. I think that was, uh, that was either pin two or three. We'll find out. I'm going with this guy again and see what all we might have dropped. Something towards the back. I think it's pin six. Again, kind of wedging my way under as I go more and more counter rotation until I can get under it. And we'll go ahead and set that. Come forward, see if we lost anything. All right, that looks like pin two because I went deeper into the false set. Is it just pin two though now? Needing six, five, three. Yeah, I think it's just pin two. But like I said, pin two is so high up there, I, I can't even get to it. So again, I'll come back with this short hook and I'll try to find it. So that's, I'll scoop under. So I think that's pin one. Is that pin two there? Let's see where I can get, uh, there's, there's my big counter rotation. So that's pin two right there. Lift up on it, and then it gets stuck on the lip of the of the spool. So I kind of let go of a lot of the tension pressure and kind of wiggle, trying to get the get the pin to give me my counter rotation past the the lip of the spool. See if I can get that pulled off without dropping anything, or at least not dropping too much. And I can't find it, so let's go back to deep false set. Make sure I'm well on the pin. Do my little jiggle thing. I'm having, oh, all right, I think I got it. Lost my tension, but I think we're open. And it's not a, it's not a sprung core, so it, you can survive that kind of stuff. But there we go, so we are open. We can go back here. Give us some autofocus, actually. And there we go, that guy's open. One thing we didn't look at, is um, using the key. Now, with the shackle open, you can't, oh, maybe you can lock it up. Interesting. There's, but if you lock, if you close it, now you can lock it up. And we can go ahead and open it again. There we go. So, thanks Georgia Jam, that's the Borgwächter Gamma 700 from Germany. It's a, uh, I think a blue belt level lock, but this particular bidding on here is uh, pretty painful. I imagine it'd be difficult for a, a blue belt uh, picker. Thanks everyone, bye.